Okay, so off to the first preseason game, and we are on a line. We're on the left wing, and we're on a line with Haas and Griffith. So quite the mix uh, of training camp hopefuls here in this game. And so that's the way it's looking, and uh, enjoy the first preseason game. I don't think I'll play all of them, or I won't post all of them. And uh, then uh, probably the next game will be the first game of the regular season. tonight you want to show that you're ready to play if you're a younger guy you want to be in the mix to make the team if you're one of the vets you want to get your legs under you so you're ready to start the season both teams at center ice the opening draw and we are ready to get preseason underway been fired up for this one the puck is dropped let's go Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Puts it in deep. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. And now it's over to Ronaldo. Takes the pass from the left wing. Here he is, wrists it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Bouchard. Picking up some steam at center ice. Dumps it in. Calgary's got a hold of it along the wall. Slides it diagonally to Robinson. Across the line from center. Edmonton's got possession here in the neutral zone. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Oh, he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. We're still in the early stages of this period. The game is still scoreless. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Haas. And now he angles it across to Bayer. Gains the zone through the middle. The Flames take possession in the defensive end. Sends a pass over. Looks to pass it to Robinson. And they fail to go tape to tape. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Past the midway mark of the frame. James and Ray with you tonight. Still scoreless in this one. Offense his own face off, and he wins the draw. Stopped by the goaltender. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Moves it to Bayer. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Taken by Giordano. Sends the pass over. Great defensive effort with the stick. Nothing doing. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. We'll get a face off, and some lucky fan gets a memory of a lifetime. Smith's able to make the save, as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. Play set to resume with the face off ready to go. Nice job tying up his opponent. And he takes a shot. Stones up with the blocker. Battle along the boards. The Flames gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Cuckoo. The Flames get a hold of the puck in their own end. From the left side, takes the pass. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. 
Shillington stick handling in his own zone. Slides it to Levo. From the slot, Rishon gives them nothing in front. Smith's right on top of the scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. In the final moments of this period, we've still got zeros on the board. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Trying to get the puck out of harm's way. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Nice pass. Slides the puck ahead to Manjapani. Move to the middle, and that one's blocked. Tosses it to McLeod. The Oilers take it along the wall. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. And we're going to get a whistle here. Wins it in the offensive zone. Picks off the feed. There's the horn bringing period number one to an end. Still no score in this one. As both teams get a breather here in this first intermission, we'll do the same and get ready for period number two. Before the end of tonight's game to claim your prize. Thank you for supporting minor league hockey in your community. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. Period number two is about to go. to feed it over to Nordstrom. Here they are on the attack. Takes it right in the chest. And there's the whistle stopping the play. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Still looking for our first goal. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Quick pass to Cuckoo. Across the line and on the attack. Slides it across. Oh, he put it just wide as it hits the outside of the post. Hey, can we have a bounce so somebody can call a goal here? That shot hits the post and stays out. Goes right to the crease. Came up with the save on that play. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We're still scoreless. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. The Oilers to play it from the defensive zone. Tries to get the puck over to Bayer. To his teammate, and that's picked off. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Calgary's in transition. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. Quick feed to Bayer. Good hit on the play. Stones him in front. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. The Flames move to the offensive zone. And that pass goes awry. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Now uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box.
Both teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. Doesn't matter whether you've had one or ten power plays. The fundamentals of it are the same. Win the draw, get the puck to the point, try and spread the penalty killers out. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Long pass up ahead to center. You saw the lane there, James. That's a good pass. Puts it high. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Calgary's he scores! Far down! Ah, uh, they all count the same, James, but those feel really good. Far down, perfect shot. Really good shot. The goaltender can't catch it. It hits the crossbar and bounces in. The Oilers have built themselves a one-goal lead here in the second. Let's see if they can build on it now. They'd like to take control of the game if they can. They now have the one-goal margin, but they want to stretch it out. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Nothing happening on the miss. Oh, he's got to get it on the target. Doesn't matter how hard you shoot it, if the goalie doesn't have to make a save, it's not even a chance. Haas moves it into the attacking end. Here he is in close! Off the outside of the iron and will play on! Haas has to stay composed here. It's really easy to get frustrated and take yourself out of the game. He's banged another one off the pipe. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Quick shot, stopped by the goaltender. Ties him up, and it didn't go unnoticed in the eyes of the officials here. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. The Flames have been called for hooking. It doesn't take very long to get on the wrong side of the play. You're a step behind. You've got to slow that guy down. You can't catch him. Maybe you can get away with a hook. Not here. Just tried to play catch up and got burned. Power play unit going back to work. Ronaldo, two minutes for hooking. Time of the penalty, 18 minutes. Here in the late goings of the period, Edmonton's ahead, 1-0. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And they do just that. Oh, I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. Picks off the pass. Calgary's done a really nice job positionally tonight. They've stolen the puck every time, it seems, when they needed to. And he comes up with it. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Steps in and takes the puck. Puts it on net. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Made the any hangs on just as time runs out. And that's all she wrote on period number two in this one. The Oilers have played sound defensive hockey to this point. They lead it 1-0 after 40 minutes. Third period is just around the corner, so don't even think about putting that controller down. to go. Third period. They're ready to drop the puck. Through center along the wing. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. And he makes the save. Looks like a swarm of bees out there. Ray, what are you seeing on the bench? Well, the coach has gone to the rookie, and he wants him to continue with what has gone on. They've been aggressive. They've been all over them. They don't want to take their foot off the pedal. Lots of time left in this period. The Oilers have taken a 1-0 lead. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. The Flames scoop it up along the boards. 
Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Here's a shot. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck to his chest. Parsons takes a dangerous scoring chance and turns it away with his stick save. The centermen glide into position. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Calgary's got it near the point. Here he is, shot right in front, denies him! Smith's able to get out and make the save on that great A chance. Let's it go, denies him on the play. Here's a short pass to Barry. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. He grabs the puck here at the point, and that one's turned away. Calgary's got it in the offensive zone. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Slides it on over to Barry. The Takes the feed. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. On the attack along the boards. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Puck picked up by Cuckoo. Feeds it on over to Bear. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. Here they come up along the wing. Takes a shot. Oh, what a save by Smith. Half of the goals in this league are scored from directly in front of the net. That doesn't happen with a save like this. Manages to hang on. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. The Flames have it now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Levo. They go on the attack from the left side. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. The Flames get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Can't catch up to the pass. Takes control of the puck. Receives the pass. Centering pass. He scores! One times it into the back of the net. The good thing he one-times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. Calgary's offensive struggles have been the story tonight. Lots of chances, just not a lot of results. The Oilers win possession here in the open ice. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Off the left wing and into center. Just can't complete that pass. No, he's got the right play in mind. He just doesn't execute the final pass. Moves it to Levo. And that's broken up. Yeah, puck doesn't get to the net. Good positioning by the defender. The Oilers in transition at center. Nesteros lugging the puck. Approaching the final minute of regulation. There's the horn, and it's time to breathe. An impressive shutout tonight. They say it comes easy for some. This has been a lot of hard work coming here, Ray. Yeah, in between the last couple of games, he worked extra hard with the goaltending coach. He put him through some drills. They really worked on his form and trying to stay square to the puck. Obviously, he got it done tonight. For my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night.
Ray, you're between the benches. You can kind of hear how all of this plays out, but the way the coaching staff seems to be pushing the youngster, there seems to be an effectiveness to it. Well, I, I think they see that there are times, like every young player, there's ups and downs, even in the middle of a game or the start of a game, he's not ready to play. So they gave him the word, and he's made a couple of really good plays. I mean, that's a good example of it right there. Game show is up and running. Text lines are open. Phone lines are open if you want to weigh in. James Sabalski with you till the top of the clock. Wow. Wow, wow, wow is all I can say about what I saw. In a very small sample size, I get that. But if that's what we're going to see from this youngster in his first preseason game to look that comfortable, to look that noticeable out there, sign me up. This could be the sign of things to come. Very excited after seeing that performance. What say you? Phone lines are hopping already, and we'll get to those phone calls.